I have my final results for bypass testing. I did 70,000 miles on this vehicle, testing it, 30,000 miles on this vehicle. And the conclusion of my testing is that bypass doesn't increase the oil change interval. I wasn't able to get longer oil changes at all. And let me explain a little more. I did particle count testing, which turns out on gasoline engines, actually any of the dark oils, particle count is kind of a, uh, a test that's not accurate at all. So it's kind of useless uh, test uh, to get done. And then the labs, they don't want to admit that, but they pretty much just want to test hydraulic fluid, fluids, fluids that are clear. If you send them a dark fluid, they just can't really tell what particles, what's the difference between particles and the difference is sludge. So what, what I wasn't able to get any difference in longevity of the oil because of the base going down, which is the ability to dissolve sludge. And also I had some very bad results on this vehicle. Now this had the, the two micron pleat, which is not the cellulose depth filter like that, but at about, it was like 14,000 miles running it out, I started to have engine problems. And Toyota has variable valve on both sides because it's a six cylinder. And it has a cam which is hydraulically rotated with a pin, which is a, let's call it a check valve, which closes when the engine shuts off and it has a little spring on it. Is the oil had enough sludge in it where that pin would start sticking. And when the vehicle would start, it would just sound horrible because until it built up oil pressure, which would take an additional second because of the bleed out with the check valve sticking, the cam would just be jumping around and the oil would just be not, the engine would be knocking really bad. When I changed the oil, that went away because the pin freed up again and I avoided having to do a very large pain in the butt of changing the uh, cam or changing the uh, sprocket, you know, on that. So bypass wasn't helping at all on this engine. This engine had 110,000 when I started the bypass and so this engine I started it at 10,000 miles and I could never see oil staying clear any difference and uh, particle testing was totally inconclusive. This engine was gumming up. So it turns out the only way to keep the oil clean is to change it. So by me doing this testing it avoids you having to do it. I just pulled out the bypass system for one of the reasons is it does drain a little bit and so the trade-off that maybe my oil is a little bit cleaner but I can't test it to tell. The trade-off is I'm losing lubrication to my upper end for another half a second every time I start it in the morning. So that's probably not a good trade-off to do, so I pulled the system. My recommendation after trying bypass on gasoline, now I have no idea about diesels. I know the diesel guys can get 50,000 miles on oil changes. I think the engines are designed to run with dirty oil versus these gas engines. I know this Toyota did not like dirty oil at all. And so my recommendation is use a good quality oil and that's more for cold weather starting. I've been using AMS Oil Signature, which is a full synthetic, and I believe there's another brand that's full synthetic. And then change your, change your filter, just change your main, which this main is really tiny. Change your main at 3,000. I'm gonna just change the main at 3,000, change the oil at 7,000. And that'll be much cleaner than trying to re-refine the oil in the vehicle, which just didn't seem to work. You can see on the bypass, this is after overnight, there's a little bit of drainage. You got the oil level drain down some. And same thing on that vehicle, I'm going to pull the bypass out, do 7,000 oil change, 3,000 main filter change. The reason why you want to do a main filter change is there's a, a bypass valve when the filter gets any sort of clog on it that you end up having unfiltered oil going to all your journals which is very bad so 
for the price of changing the filter, it's worth it. And use a high quality filter too. If I was going to keep the bypass, I would be changing a $30 media every 7,000 because I would still change at 7,000 miles. And so I don't see the, the reason for an extra, you know, changing the media and having an extra quart to fill the media. So like $40 additional per oil change which i have to do three of them per year i can't see that thing helping uh, the engine last just regular oil changes like the manufacturer recommends be the best thing to do i hope you like watching the video thanks for watching